This little class kind of grew out of a desire to, to really simplify it and look at the basic skin tone mixture, which is red and yellow. All skin tones fall into the red and yellow orange family. So what I hope to do today is to talk to you a little bit about that, show you some tips on how I, how I work, even how I mix color. And I've got a slideshow that we'll, I'm gonna let you look at real quick, just so you can see what I'm talking about. When you look at a person, the first question to ask yourself is, do they look more orange, more pink, more yellow? Are they in the ochre family? And, and many skin tones will have various colors throughout, depending on what's going on. But usually there's a predominant color. The overall skin tone on the mother is an ochre color on the neck and the forehead. The cheeks are always very pink on, on most of your subjects. Flesh, meeting flesh, you'll have some really hot spots, they're called. Notice the baby's cheek where it touches the mother's cheek. Uh, just under the baby's eye, there's a real bright spot of cad red light and orange. Uh, the baby's ears, the, under the baby's hands, the mother's chin in the ears are all really warm hot spots. And these can really liven up your paintings to put some warm color in. It feels a little um, extreme when you put it in, but if you really start paying attention, when light's coming through a transparent area of skin especially, if you hold your fingers up to a light, you'll see these bright spots of hot color, and they can really liven up your paintings. I, I would just start there, and I would hold up my palette knife and see if I see that anywhere at all on the face. So. Because of her green blouse and because of these green walls, I'm gonna put a speck of green in there. I need a little bit more um, intensity to the color, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of my green up here with my, my darker version. So all this was was some yellow or uh, orangish yellow with some green added into it, and it gave me a pretty good shadow color that I could uh, use under her neck a little bit. I need to tweak it just a little. So I'm not going to mix too much more because the way, the really the way to learn about color is to let you mix yourself. I have just hundreds and maybe thousands of photos now that I've collected of people's work that I have organized into folders. Blonde hair, fabrics, skin tones, brown hair, uh, old masters. I will make a folder for that client or that painting and I'll pull similar paintings that I like into that folder and when I'm working on it I'll, I'll put them on a slideshow. Also what it does is it makes me look for unexpected color. It's so beautiful because they've been gone beyond the photo and made you know made beautiful art and so we need that inspiration sometimes to, to make us think about what color.